Hello, it's July 3rd, 2014, episode number 26 of Weekly Woodworking Wrap-Up Review. How are you doing? Today, I am with my lovely fiance on the beautiful shores of Lake Erie. Didn't want to skip an episode this week, so I thought I'd bring my camera with me. And uh, we're at the family cottage, just hanging out, getting ready for some 4th of July fireworks fun drinking whatnot before we dive in i just want to say chuck can't be with us today he's working on his truck or something i don't know what he's doing but he couldn't make it kelly why don't you show him uh the new t-shirts that we have here first up is this red make something shirt it has got a saw blade on there brown lovely make something shirt on there these shirts are on my website we got some new branded drunken woodworker shirts in this is on uh, they call it camel the color is camel with white printed on there and all of these shirts are available on my website along with the shirts i have these lovely beer koozies they say make something and drunken woodworker kelly can you go in and zoom in on that thanks I got a brand new segment for you today. It is called Hipster or Woodworker. So basically I'm gonna throw an image up on screen and, I, and you need to decide whether this person is a hipster or woodworker. So let's get started. All right, here it is. Kelly, do you think that's a hipster or a woodworker? Wrong, it's a hipster and a woodworker. Mm, yeah, you didn't know. I got this book in the mail. This is from Linden Publishing. This comes out, I believe, later this month. This is called Civil War Woodworking. And uh, it's got lots of cool little uh, woodworking projects that pertain to the Civil War. And just cool, fun little projects. I, neat little book. Uh, this is volume two. Uh, I posted this on my Twitter and Facebook page and many of you said you that many of you said you have volume one and enjoyed it. So if you like volume one, you'll probably like volume two. There'll be a link in the show notes where you can buy this. Uh, once again, it's from Linden Publishing. Very, very cool book. Um, that's gonna get annoying. All right. Oh, might as well talk about what we're drinking today. We got uh, Brooklyn Brown Ales. This is one of my favorite beers ever. One of your favorite beers ever? Yeah, love the Brooklyn Brown Ales. Good stuff. Let's get serious here for a little bit. Um, I got an email from Joshua. Joshua is a fan of the show um, and he picked up woodworking from his dad. And his dad was killed in a car accident on June 24th. Um, and so Joshua has two half brothers and his, his two half brothers lost their mother many years ago. So now they don't have a mother and a father. Joshua started this silver lining project that he wants to use to help out his, his brothers. I read the story here. His dad sounded like a, an amazing person. One of Joshua's brothers was in the hospital for three months and his dad was right there by his side the entire time. Sounds like a, a beautiful family. So Joshua put together the silver lining project to help out his brothers and to just put a little smile on their face while they're going through this, this horrible time in their, in their lives. So there'll be a link down below. You can check out Joshua's story and donate to the Silver Lining Project if you like. So, moving on, I got an email from Andy Chadwick. Uh, many of you know him from the Andy Chadwick School of Fine Woodworking. Andy sent me this email and I'll, and I'll read the first paragraph here. For the last few years, I've been bringing the top woodworking students from the largest high school woods manufacturing program in the nation out to my shop for a week-long furniture making summer camp. Their instructor, Dean Matson, takes these low-income disadvantaged kids at North Salem High School in Salem, Oregon, and turns them into young adults of character and integrity with admirable skills that are highly marketable. And he's bringing in these disadvantaged kids or low income kids and just teaching them the, the skills of woodworking. You know, they can, they can build stuff with their hands and this teaches character and uh, gives them confidence and, and basically gets them ready for their future. Bob Lang from Popular Woodworking, he stopped by Andy Chadwick's school last week and got to meet these kids and work with them for a little bit. And he wrote a great article about it. So I'll let Bob Lang tell you more about the experience. So that link would be down below. So check out Bob's blog article. Good stuff. 
really good stuff. So we're gonna dive into some videos here. This first one, many of you told me you've got to show April's video. April Wilkerson, we've featured her on the show a couple times now. She is making an urn, and this is for an organization called Garden of Innocence. Basically, they're looking for volunteers to make urns and coffins, unclaimed kids who they don't have a family and that have passed away. And so this organization tries to give them a proper burial. They are looking for volunteer woodworkers to make these, these urns. And the plans are provided on their website. And April takes you step by step on how to make the urn. It's a really good cause. And it's, it's getting a lot of good attention thanks to April. So please check that out. Garden of Innocence Cremation Urn by April Wilkerson. Touching video from April. So thank you, April. Next video, building a laser cut birdhouse by Switch and Lever. Daniel from Switch and Lever is one of my favorite makers on YouTube. He does some awesome, cool stuff. And basically he's making this pretty sweet ass looking birdhouse, but he's doing it with a laser cutter. Now, I know many of you don't have a laser cutter or an access to a laser cutter, but you can easily do this making finger joints on the table saw. I really wanted to show this video because this is a very cool looking looking birdhouse, very modern design. I'm just curious if it's gonna last through the elements. So, uh, are you on your second beer already? You don't say much, do you? I'm marrying this girl in October. Next video, modern steel pine table by Matt Diresta. There's not a whole lot of woodworking in this video. It's mostly metal, but he does have, it does have a wood top and a wood bench. I like the way it looks. If you're not familiar with Matt Diresta, he is the nephew of Jimmy Diresta, who I've featured on the show many times. That must be one talented family there. A real cool table called Modern Steel Pine Table by Matt Diresta. The Highland Woodworker by Highland Woodworking. It's a magazine style show. It's very high quality, well produced. So it's, it's got little segments and they go around the country and they talk to different woodworkers. It's like 45 minutes long. So if you wanna just sit back and crack a soda and, and watch this video, it's really good. There's a great segment by Glenn Huey who shows a crazy way to make a spring joint on a joiner. Everybody that makes a spring joint uses a hand plane to kind of scoop out the, the center of the two boards that you're you're going to glue together the reason for doing this is you can use less clamps and you can and you know that you're getting even pressure along the entire joint i've never seen anybody do this using a, a power joiner before glenn has a very unique way of, of showing how it's done it's it, it's it's pretty cool not sure if i'm going to set up my joiner to do this but it's it's definitely cool to see new techniques it also features Jalen Wagner, who is an amazing, amazing teenage woodworker. This kid is just blowing the world away by his furniture. A blacker house chair that he's made, done a Sam Maloof chair. His furniture is just beautiful and he's so young and, and talented. This kid is really going somewhere, so you want to check out that. And then um, it also features Megan Fitzpatrick showing how to reduce tear out with a hand plane. And it's a technique that she learned from Rhett Fulkerson, who's a fan of the show. What's up, Rhett? What's up, Megan? So check out the Highland Word Worker. Really cool show. One of my favorites on the, on the web. So I always look forward to the show. Next video, the making of a segmented bracelet by Kyle Toth. As you may remember, Kyle was on the show a couple weeks ago as he was traveling through the country and Many of his videos are just, uh, he sets a camera on a tripod and it's, it's, a, it's a time lapse of the project. And so this is his first time of actually talking on camera and showing you step by step how something's done. And he does a very fine job and his work is phenomenal. When Kyle came through here, he brought a vase with him to, to show you some of his work. And he left that vase with me and we have it in our living room now. It is so beautiful. I, I could not believe that he gave us this wonderful vase. So thank you, Kyle. Mm, it's good. My beer is nice and cold because I have this beer koozie. <laughs> what do you think? What a beautiful day. What a beautiful, look at this. This is, this is Lake Erie right on the other side of there. That's Canada. You can't see Canada, but you know it's over there. How do you feel about Canada, Kelly? 
<laughs> we we have a lot of Canadian viewers, you know. You just you just pissed off a tenth of my audience. Last video of the day, the segmented bandsaw box. As many of you know, I love making bandsaw boxes. And this video from JD Ransom making a segmented core, which I've never seen anybody do except in, in vases. He's bringing that technique to bandsaw box. Check this out. This is beautiful, beautiful work. Never seen anybody do this before. You can tell he's a really creative guy. He's only got two videos out on his YouTube channel. I look forward to a lot more videos from this guy. Check out the segmented bandsaw box by JD Ransom. Because we are out here on the lake and away from the shop, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time editing and recording video. So there was a bunch of other videos that I wanted to get to that I'm not going to talk about here. But if you're watching this on my website or if you're on the YouTube channel, there'll be a link below. I have created a YouTube playlist of all the videos that you just saw, plus a few more that you should check out. That about wraps it up for our video. So once again, we have t-shirts. I got this brown make something shirt we got this red make something kelly it's upside down <laughs> you're being chuck okay oh sorry <laughs> kelly has a beef with chuck they don't get along too well um, so we have this red make something shirt camel drunken woodworker shirt and some beer koozies for sale on the website that about wraps it up if you live in the united states have a happy fourth of july be safe do not drive while drinking, do not drink while driving. Um, be careful with the fireworks. Just be safe. You know what, even if you're not in the United States, you should still be safe and have a good time this weekend. So that about wraps it up. Stay passionate and make something. Cheers. To keep up with me, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, Instagram, and Etsy. And be sure to check out my website at drunkenwoodworker.com.